Yeah, I mean, I, br- I thought about, um, yeah, I'm like, I want to take steroids at this age. I'm fucking sick of working out. Now, I've said that to about 20 people, and they were all like, why would you do that? You're going to fuck up your kidney at 55. <laughs> you looked at me and you go, why wouldn't you? Do it. <laughs> fuck it. They work. There's a reason why they're banned from <laughs> you sports. Didn't even, you didn't even hesitate. You go, yeah. why wouldn't you? With a puzzle look in your face. Whenever someone tells me, well, man, you know, at 55 years of age, you really think it's a good idea to take steroids? Yes, that's the perfect time. Yeah, because you're going to, the alternative yeah. is dying. Well, also, you only have like 20 years left anyway. Like, what are you going to do? Uh, cut don't it, say cut it, it like back? that. That's true. What are you going to do? You're going to no, cut it back? Cut I'm it back by f- five? 88. Oh, my God. I only have 15 years of looking like fucking Sylvester Stallone <laughs> and Rocky IV. <laughs> yeah, you pulled up a picture of him. And I said, that's got, that, I said, that's got to be from 30 years ago. You're like, that's no. from last Wednesday. He's 70 years still old, juicing. shredded. Oh, 100%. How does he not? Find me the doctor. I'll pay fucking good money. I'll get you a doctor. I For know real. you will. Testosterone Where replacement Where did you meet him? At the fucking original room? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the belly room. <laughs> Joey Diaz, cousin. He was doing a set upstairs. I got a guy. You got to meet him at the docks. <laughs> Do you have a fake mustache? <laughs> Dr. Benny Boombats. <clears throat> well, testosterone replacement and hormone replacement therapy, is. Uh, there's a real science to it. The idea is you don't take too much. You take what you would have in your body if you mm. were a younger man. That's what you do. And uh, people are like, well, you're not a younger man anymore. Duh. Like, people just want you to wither away and die. You, so you've, you've juiced. I take testosterone replacement therapy, and I've done it for almost 10 years. What, no, what is it, 49? Yeah, 39. I started when I was like 39, 37, 38. That, I started rubbing this cream on me, which wasn't that effective. Was that the clear? They call no, it? no, that's way better. Remember was using That's it? way oh, better than way anything better. I take. <laughs> I take mild stuff. I like, rubbed that on my dog. Here's fucking. the thing about the stuff that like Barry Bonds takes and all the bodybuilders take. Like they're taking like hyper human levels. I don't fuck with anything like that. What I do is yeah. I take what what I would mm-hmm. have in my body naturally when I was like 27. That's what I take. So that that is healthy, and that there, there's n- almost no evidence. There, there's evidence that if you have a bad heart, if you're an older person and you start jacking your body up with testosterone, doing crazy workouts, your body's not ready for it. But also that could be a conditioning issue. There's a lot of factors involved in something like that. When when people go from being sedentary and out of shape to all of a sudden having young levels of testosterone, yeah, and may, then your exercise, body's gonna get shocked. Yeah. So yeah. that's when you factor in those situations with people that have um, like pretty significant uh, heart issues after taking testosterone therapy yeah. according to my doctor that's what they're dealing with he's, he's like you can't you have to judge each one of them on an individual basis and he's also like you have to get your blood work done you have to be really m- meticulous about of course. it I get my blood work done every couple months but not just for testosterone not just for, for human shit, growth hormone, but also yeah for bad stuff and also for nutrient levels I want to make sure like I found out that I need more niacin in my system I found out that I need more vitamin B I'm down you know, vitamin D big D3 time. D3 is a big one it's yeah. huge it's very important it's very important for um, for uh, muscle it's very important for the way your brain works it's also works in symbiosis with a bunch of other nutrients you have to have your your nutrient levels tested you can't just go oh I feel pretty good you would, you might feel pretty good, but there might be, there might be some fucking shortcomings in your your diet or your your supplementation. Oh, yeah. I, 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 you know, I when I played I played ball up at Maine in college back in the '80s, and they were all juicing. And I, I got oh, yeah. a lot of teammates who are. I got one guy who's in like a convalescent home. I mean, they were fucking crazy with the shit. He's in convalescent home now at fifty yeah. five. He was. A, he's yeah. Oh my God! Fucking what did he do? And, 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 and another one. There's two other guys I know that have kidney problems from it. And but they, but they, they were they were muscular. We were college age kids, and they were fucking and they, and they were juicing. You know, that's not our whole smart. line was juicing. But if you wanted to be a pro athlete back then, the fucking Jose Canseco days, you kind of had to. Those yeah. guys were all gorillas. They oh, were absolutely. All giant. Even at Maine, I go, holy shit! These guys were so mean. The linemen, oh, and yeah. I loved them. I hung out with them like when they were not drinking and shit. But when they would get drunk, and they were, and I go, this is at Maine. Can you imagine what goes on at the University of uh, Miami or all oh, these football factories, USC? Savages. Can Phoenix. you imagine? Yeah, this savages. was Maine, one double A football. And I'm like, these guys are fucking crazy. Well, that's what gets you and ahead. And I love them to death. And that's, look, what gets us ahead in this sport? We're mean as far as like the shit we crack jokes on. Think about the shit that we say when you and I get together and we just start fucking around. Ah, uh, 